Hi, I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World, and I sell digital patterns. Usually, those are super, super easy to download and save. You just click the button that says download, and it saves onto your computer. But every once in a while, people run into trouble with that. And they email me, and they say, I tried to download the file, and it didn't work. And I'm always, always, always happy to help. But I need a little more information than that, because that doesn't tell me really anything. So what I'm going to go over in this video are a couple of things that might let you help yourself in case you're emailing me on a Saturday morning and I don't respond to email very quickly over the weekend and it's maybe a pattern that you wanted to make this weekend. Um, so I've got a couple of things that you can troubleshoot yourself and I'll talk to you a little bit about some of the information I need um, to, in order to troubleshoot for you so we can save the email in between that says, hey, I need more information. So there's a couple of problems that people run into um, when they are downloading patterns. One problem that comes up really surprisingly often is that it seems like it downloaded, but then they can't find the file. So a lot of times a computer is set up with a default system. Most of the time it's set up so that it saves downloads to a folder called downloads. But if you don't know where that folder is, that's not a whole lot of help to you. So you can watch my video on um, how to download a pattern and that will show you what that downloads where you might be able to find that downloads folder but another thing that can help you is just the knowledge that I'm usually not tricky in how I name my files so if it's a pattern called woodland critters the file is usually called woodlandcritters.pdf so you can use a search function in your computer almost anytime you open up any folder window up in the top corner there's a little search magnifying glass and you can search I usually recommend trying just one keyword in there so try woodland for example and that would pull up every folder every file on your computer that has woodland either in the title or somewhere in the file itself so if that word woodland appears it can come up in that search but that would pull up the woodland critters pattern and then you could click on that and see where that is saved so that can help you find a pattern that saves but you don't know where so that's a really common problem another problem that comes up sometimes that's very strange to me but it comes up it seems like it's safari that has this problem safari is the name of the browser so sometimes a file will download but they can only see the first page that is a problem specific to Safari. It actually, it, it, I'm almost positive it's Safari. It actually downloads the entire file, but depending on how your settings are, it'll only show you the first page. So you need to control click on that first page and tell it you want to see continuous, which means the whole file, and then it'll show you the whole thing. It's a very weird setting. I don't know why anybody would want to see just the first, pic, the first page of a, of a document, but that's the kind of question that tells you why I need to know the browser you're using because then I can troubleshoot, oh right, that's that weird Safari thing that happens sometimes. So speaking of browsers, the other problem that comes up a lot, and I mean a lot, and it is all kinds of weird problems. It's like I'm watching my Teachable class and the videos aren't showing, or I'm trying to download and it's not downloading, but the one I had last week from you downloaded just fine. So I don't know what's happening, what's wrong with this one. The problem is almost always that your browser is out of date. An, an out of date browser causes all kinds of really, really weird problems. I liken it to the weird problems with your sewing machine that if you just change the needle it fixes it and you don't really know why or what the problem was and it's not the same problem every time but changing your needle is the magical fix updating your browser updating your browser is the tech equivalent of changing the needle on your sewing machine and it's really really easy to do there's a website called whatismybrowser.com and it'll if you just type in whatismybrowser.com in your in your URL window it'll take you to this website and it'll read off of your computer and it'll tell you what browser you're running what version of the browser you have both of which are information that's really important for me to know if none of these little fixes help solve your problem if you can tell me your browser and the version that's going to be really helpful for me in troubleshooting. But it'll also tell you if your browser is out of date. And it even, I'm almost positive, it has a little button if your browser is out of date that you can click it, just click the button and it says, 
update your browser now and it'll find the most updated version of your browser and update it for you. It's like magic. It's an incredibly useful website and it fixes all kinds of crazy problems. So before you email me and you're waiting for a response from me, which might take a couple of days, especially if it's over the weekend, try updating your browser. Go to whatismybrowser.com and then try downloading it again and there's a really good chance that it will have fixed your problem. If it hasn't fixed your problem, again, I am more than happy to help troubleshoot, but it's going to be really helpful to me if you tell me where you bought that pattern, um, when, roughly when you bought it. Like if you bought it six years ago, there's going to be different problems than if you bought it yesterday. Um, and tell me what browser you're running and what version of the browser. And also tell me what's happening. So just telling me I tried to download and it didn't work isn't always very helpful. If you got an error message, please tell me what the error message was. If your screen went white, um, tell me that that happened. Just give me a little bit of information about what is happening when you try and download and it doesn't work. And that'll help me do any extra troubleshooting. But remember, the number one fix, whatismybrowser.com, and just update your browser and it fixes a lot of things. You also might want to think about a different browser if you have one that constantly causes you a lot of problems like Internet Explorer is notoriously bad and there are some places that won't even troubleshoot if that's the browser that you have. They're just like get a different browser. Um, Chrome and Firefox are the number two, number one and number two browsers out there agreed on by almost all the tech people as these are the best browsers and they cause the fewest problems with things. But even if you're running Firefox or Chrome, you want to make sure to be running the most current version. And these versions update all the time. So this is a very, very common problem and it's a really, really easy fix. I hope that helps. Bye.